I've loved Jonathan's music for so long and especially connected with it during the pandemic. I didn't know you were listening to my music and I was listening to your music, but we had only met very, very briefly. I just was so inspired by hearing in your recordings how people just sing to the very traditional kirtan call and response. The intention with this piece is to create something really super easy for people to chant. It's a tune that I that I wrote in my late 20s. Mm. Is there any reason that you hadn't till now recorded this even though you composed the tune so many years ago? This is a, sh a shorter section of a longer poem. Mm -hmm. I guess at 51, <laughs> I kind of felt like the uh, freedom to just bring forward the shorter section as a chant. That that's really something that I've been trying to do in my music as well, you know, find ways to give people a, a, a link or a, an open door to something that might be too long or it might feel intimidating if you were to do the whole thing but just to give a taste that inspires hopefully a deeper dive you know in whatever way in the practice or learning about the meaning the meaning is really profound for me duk banjan teranam the duk all the troubles all the sorrows all the mm. pains banjan are destroyed you know loosened just dissolved mm. in teranam, in, in your name. Mm -hmm. It's so much just in a few lyrics. Mm. It's really beautiful. I, I love the opportunity of, of hearing you, because uh, I could listen to, to that for hours and mm. chant along for hours. Yeah, we got and... a little lost in our... <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. recording's only eight minutes, but I think we, want, we wanted to yeah. loop it for a few more <laughs> rounds. Okay. That was so beautiful. Oh, really thank you. Really I wow. love singing with you. <laughs> We're doing it for the first time virtually, but... The tradition that I've grown up with is the Vaishnav tradition or Krishna Bhakti. Sometimes it's known as Hare Krishna because that's what we sing a lot. It's a tradition that emphasizes kirtan or the repetition of the divine name as the sort of be all and end all, it's the most important practice. And that's uh, something that I've been doing for pretty much all my life. <laughs> yeah, I was born and raised in the Sikh tradition. Our practice is also that the nam, the name of the one, is the most powerful medicine. Mm. And sound current can heal us. We have a sacred text that's filled with poems and we celebrate in our spiritual practice by singing those mm. those poems and bringing them to life for us in our hearts and I have a deep appreciation for for the Sikh tradition and I've never formally recorded anything from that tradition because so you're from the Hare Krishna mm -hmm. tradition and the the teachings and and what you convey in your music have deeply affected me and I've taken that into my practice mm -hmm and feel like it's helped me on my path. And it's beautiful to celebrate the, the specificity and the uniqueness of each tradition, but also to come together is, is very powerful. Today was really beautiful. Um, sometimes recording can be a painful process. <laughs> and uh, sometimes you just get a very smooth and beautiful experience and that's how it felt today. I'm really relieved because you never know what to expect, but it was really magical, I would say. When my band and I had put down the basic track and I just kept hearing Jana B. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll sing here and the violin and Something inside me knew all along that Johnny V was going to be on it, but then today was just filled with so much magic. The whole track just kind of yeah, came to it, life. It bloomed. It bloomed. Really felt like it bloomed. Yeah.